And so it's a big statement to say this, and it can be really challenging to fully take it in. And the ego wants to deny this reality, and it's going to find all kinds of things and ways to block it. One way is by guilting you. So it hears statements like this and says, oh, well, if you're not happy, it's because you're doing something bad or wrong. You're bad. That's its favorite form of attack. Then you get caught up in guilt and or you might get angry at hearing the statement and want to, you know, turn away from it. God established his relationship with you to make you happy and nothing you do that does not share his purpose can be real. So nothing that we do do that doesn't bring happiness or any experience that we're having where we don't feel happy what this is saying is there's some form of illusion or non-truth that we are accepting as real or believing in god's only purpose for us is happiness through our union with him and with each other my recommendation with the course is you just let every word every sentence in the truth is true whether you believe it or not you don't have to believe in it for it to be true or for it to affect your life in a positive way. And if it's not true, if anything I say or anybody else here says or anything else you hear or you think you hear in the course, if it's not true, it can't have any impact at all. Anything that's not true isn't real, the course says, so can't ultimately do any damage or have any impact. It'll just fall away, basically. So it's never there's never a reason to fear listening to somebody or reading something or hearing another teaching if the truth is true it lands in the place in you that is true and it sticks and just makes it more true if it's not true it just falls away you don't have to fight it or defend against it or get angry about it it just disappears the purpose god described to, <clears throat> to anything is its only function because of his reason for creating his relationship with you, the function of relationships became forever to make happy. Relationships across the board. And so all that's ever really happening is relationship, right? And if your relationships that are happening, that's you, your union or interaction with anyone or anything else around you. If that relationship is not making happy, it's not fulfilling its function and that is up to you. It's up to me that all my relationships fulfill their function. It's not up to the other. And it's up to me by simply practicing forgiveness, asking to see the truth in the other, in my girlfriend, my wife, my husband, my brother, my, you know, whatever it is. If the relationship is not making happy, your function, your your purpose is to seek the truth there. Ask to see the truth. Because in each and every relationship is the manifestation of your relationship with your source, the manifestation of my relationship with God is in my relationship with you. And so I can ask to see God in you or see the truth in you, another way to say it, or see the light in you, and then fulfill my function in my relationship with God or with source. Or I can choose an illusion and project something onto you that is my own self-judgment and my own self-attack that I project out there on you and then have that dance which will definitely not bring happiness it'll bring unhappiness and justification for attack attack comes in many forms according to the course not just overt most of what our attack is covert packaged in something else but it's actually attack and that's what makes us unhappy because all external all attack every time we think we see something over there we don't like and we attack it is ultimately self-attack because it is a projection of self. So this is hard to really fully take in. I know it's hard for me too. So when sometimes you something is so offensive to you, you see, you think you see over there, it's hard to get that that's yours. That's something you judge about yourself you've put over there. The whole goal behind projection is to get rid of it and not remember that it's what you think about yourself. And then put it over there. And that's a great defense. It's a great way to forget that it's yours. It's very, very convincing. It's very, you know, it is because that's that's why we do it, because it's very convincing. So the course is recommending that we don't do that. Instead, ask to see the truth in any place, any person, any relationship where you feel an upset, 
The only real work to do is seek the truth. And that is not mine or yours to decide. It's your deciding that made it unhappy. As an ego mind or mind lost or away from source and not aware of source, we make unhappy. That's what we do. And so our judgments, our discernment isn't going to work. You have to invite that in. You have to invite the voice for God or the Holy Spirit in to show you the truth. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. Please, it helps us so much if you just like, subscribe, and share the video. And also, if you have any comments or any questions, please drop a comment below. I'm happy to respond. Until next time, please keep your mind open and keep making miracles.